family products of the situation at the western border was clearly in violation of the statutory instrument that um sorry the statutory instrument introduced under the state of emergency because the borders are closed and so we had a number of Guatemalans entering with the cargo and of course with the high level of, of um COVID in Guatemala is considered a safety um, risk, no? And so uh, we decided that, that we will implement as, as it was to be implemented and is working at the northern border where you hit on unleash. But there are some where there cannot be any unleashing. And so because that cannot happen and they're insisting that there's so many Guatemalans that can drive the truck, then... Um, the health authorities, I believe, BAPA, customs, immigration, um, agriculture. El Baja is a part of agriculture, makes to discuss the protocols. And one of the protocols is to have a guard check that truck to the area where they will be loading the cargo. But they would have to bear the cost. Either the importer or the exporter, they were able to um, pay the cost of, of the guard. And so all of that is in discussion right now, but the protocols have been developed but um, in discussion before we formally implement. Of course, it's, it's impacting us because um, there's a matter of foreign exchange in terms of trade, and we move um, citrus pulp, corn, molasses, um, rice, I believe, rice husk, heavy metal. Um, things of that nature that, that goes through that border. And so even under the, the state of emergency, the um, borders were open only for cargo, but under special conditions. And those were the protocols that were developed to, to ensure safety of the Belizean people.